Okay, should we run it back, take sneak attack again? We could certainly do that. There's also an underground sea and a tundra. I think we try again. The salty runbacks, indeed. Hey, Jace from State Farm. Thank you for the 29 months. Run it back. Try again. I need more counters and more card draw. Yeah, apparently I need fewer removal spells. They didn't line up too well. No removal, only combo pieces. I mean, that is a good thing to do. Brainstorm, pretty good. Alright, let's take the combo pieces. This is looking like a legit legacy deck. Who needs Basalti? Not me. Do, 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 do. Did you know they used my likeness in uh, this art for Brainstorm? They were like, alright, who is a big brain player that we can, you know, make this image based off of? And they were like, oh yeah, duh. Let's just, let's just uh, get Numa the Nummy. See, look. Like if, look, if I just angle. See? It's exact, it's like, it's like perfect. I'll take Magma Jet here, I guess. Wahoo! Wahoo! Boom! A boom boom, excuse me. Hmm. I don't like the looter. When was the last time I played Legacy Constructed? Uh, probably only a few months ago. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's just take the Serum Visions. More card draw, more better. Ooh, I might take the Titty. I do like an Inferno Titty. Not a bad one to sneak attack as well. This can do a lot of damage. Like, this is... This is a creature that doesn't look like it'll kill the opponent, but then you sneak attack it in, and you have just a bit of open mana, and you're like, oh wow, somehow that did 17 damage. It was the Black Green Depths deck, yeah. I guess that was more than a few months ago, maybe that was like a year ago. But I was playing the Black Green Depths deck the last time I played Legacy. We did it. We're doing it again. Run it back, make it work. Does TSM help pay drafting costs at all? I wish. By the way, I'm going to become a TFT player for TSM. <laughs> Our last draft went poorly. Dismantled. Thoroughly. Devastatingly. Ooh! Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey! Oh my. I'm the only player you've seen move four ranks in one day on TFT, yeah. Uh, let's go find... Let's go find my TFT chart. It ain't good. I peaked at D2 or 3. And then, ever since the new patch hit, it's been nothing but... Regret. Oh my god, I don't need Look at this! Look at this! This was the new patch right here. This was the new patch. New patch hit. Perma perma plat pe, uh, perma plat pleb. Uh I didn't really choose the right card there, I guess. I don't know. Are we gonna run any of these cards? I feel like the card I'm most likely to play is actually the Farseek. Toxic? Basalt Wield too? What the heck is going on? Well, we'll take that. That's real nice. I mean... This is cute with Sneak Attack and Through the Breach. 
I kind of want to go for the cutesy play. What the heck, let's do it. Sideboard relics, not bad. I don't need no Carney. Go Teamer, Teamer Sneak, Teamer Vanifar. I need some fixing, but otherwise this is an okay start. All right, there's an Ulamog if we want to. Monolith, Jace, Falls. Uh, I probably should take fixing here. But I'm going to take the Monolith. This just lets me hard cast my fatties, so... Mono Monolith. The G-Daddy, huh? Alright, we'll do it. Supreme, Mizzy, hopefully Miz wheels again. Treasure Maps. Abandon Green. Make me. Granted, the likelihood I play this is very, very low, unless I get good fixing. But I don't really want to prioritize green fixing anyways. <laughs> Woodfall Primus is also a very, very good uh, sneak attack through the Breach card. But here I will take the Fumarole instead. Oracle and Misty being passed, but I think that's okay. Yeah, it's looking good so far. Blue's not been super open, but... Uh, we don't need that many blue cards to make this work. Yeah, yeah, just the card selection. We're a combo deck, so being able to filter our draws is nice. And then having a backup treachery seems very good as well. I wouldn't mind Pact of Negation. It's nice to have a way to protect my relevant pieces, but I don't think I passed treachery. Let's go with Remand over Nahiri. I hear you very good though, but I don't need to play white. Roman's just solid. What was my favorite deck to run in Modern Horizons draft? Favorite? Snow. But that requires it to be somewhat open. You can't just force it or whatever. Like, I think Ninjas is the best deck, and it also requires fewer. Fewer things to work, right? Because you can just take a bunch of random one and two drops. I'm going to go with the Emrakul here. Oh god, mom's here. Run. Ha. Ha ha. Casual friendly stream, guys. Ha ha. We weren't talking about nugs and pizza parties. Charter course. Let's do that. Sorry, Mizium Mortars. You know what? I've never actually seen mom work. What if when she leaves, she doesn't actually go to work. She just goes to like the library and uses the free uh, internet to watch the stream. Wait a minute. Snarfy smash. Thanks for the 24 months. Hey, hey, hey we wield the sulfur falls. A plus. Ooh, Narset, actually. Is Narset more important? I think it might be. That's pretty nice. Supreme Will, also pretty nice. <laughs> 20-piece Nugs at the side. Taiga Apokat! Uzra! Uzra! Purple Garden seems good here. Sorry, Ezra. The new Mott Truman Show? Uh-oh. Perfect mana with my one fumeral. Upheaval! It's still... in. It's still great. Do I have to take the upheaval? There's a cozy here. Also a drifty D. But upheaval wins games that are otherwise unwinnable, so. Hmm, interesting. Sneaky-jeaky, eh? 
Interesting. 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 Yes, yes. Hmm. Hmm. I think I have to take the Worn Power Stone now over Frost Titties. Now we have three rocks to go with our upheaval. Thirst for Knowledge, a Braid, Phantasmal Image. Image is pretty nice. I think I'll go for that over Thirsty. I should probably take the card draw, but I think we're fine taking Image. I mean, I've got some card draw. It's fine. Let's take out the Sweltering Suns. Can I get a Scalding Tarn and a Volcanic Island, please? Yeah, just show and tell Ugin. Pretty much the same thing. Well. Oop, there it is. Oop, there it is. I don't think we need any of these cards. Maybe just take the random. This is indeed the Legacy Cube. All right, we go to pick seven here, so two more packs that we haven't seen to potentially get some better fixing. How good is Murmuring Mystic here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, that's a good sideboard card, if nothing else. I don't need the Wasteland. That blue counterspell is excellent. Which one? Oh, Tail's End? I believe you. I just didn't take it. I have, I have very few shuffle effects for Brainstorm. True shuffle effects. We have some, like, look at the top X cards or whatever. I guess that's still fine. Magma Jet Scry. Yeah, whatever. All right, last pack. Last chance to get a red-blue land. Somehow, 8th pick Volcanic. Whoa! I mean, that's hell of a sneak attack through the Breach card. Okay. I'm gonna cut the Shivan. I might just cut the Bogarden now. Bogarden's great with Kiki-Jiki, though. What else am I taking out? I... I don't need this. Well, Ilharg doesn't uh, get the attack trigger from the plane, or from the uh, Eldrazi. A nice pickup too. Honestly, all his dust doesn't seem all that bad in our deck with the triple rocks. Right, right. It's fifteen damage. No, I think Grizzlebrand's too good here as well. Grizzlebrand is our best card draw source. I think this I think this deck is very good too. I think this looks better than our previous sneak attack deck. No, I think the the mind slaver effect is too good. I'm going to cut one card it might be like Jace. I'm going to lose games to my mana base. What? What's wrong with my mana? I think I have a good mana base, don't I? Actually, you might just want to chop it. Yeah. No, I think Magma Jet's too good to cut. I do like Fire and Ice, though. I mean, we don't have, like, fetches to shuffle, but we have some scries and stuff that we can get rid of those cards. It wanted to put sweet uh, three swamps in, but I know better. This deck is good. Easy 3060, and if I don't 3060, I'll draft again. How about that? Wow. A lot on the line. A lot on the line here. If I don't 3060, I will draft again.
a Poidiferous. Thank you for the 54 months. Eh, okay. I'm just going to jam it. They're playing green, so they could have enchantment removal. But... The sneak attack's not really doing anything in my hand anyways. Alright, Emmy, Emmy for the win. Bam! Bam, bam! That would be a good time to draw... Relevant card. Oops. Fertile Ground. I feel like there are a bunch of cards that I could just draw to instant win. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Please. No. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. X. What is. Oh, God. They're debating me. Well. They have something in their hand that caught... So maybe they have Kozilek in their hand? I might be able to treachery a Kozilek. If they have Ulamog, yeah, that'd be kind of bad too. I guess treachery Ulamog also wins. It is, yep. Yeah, we passed it during the draft. I don't even think I'd reshuffle the Ilharg back in. Tank, 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 tank. Kill you. Yeah, the new house is exciting. Somebody told me that I was going to hard cast Kiki Jiki. Why would you put that on me? How many pinball machines am I going to get? Well, I have the pinball machine room already, which holds five. I don't know how many more than that I'm going to get. All right, here comes the Ulamog or whatever this is. Adam JF84. It's about 23 months. I would like to draw that many cards, please. God dang it, dude. Kiki Jiki, non legendary. I'm going to assume they have a way to deal with the Kozilek or the Treachery. Oh, that doesn't. I don't want to show the Kiki Jiki. I could have put it in with Ilharg, but... I'd rather just... Uh, Insta-win potential. Okay. So I'm redrawing Treachery. Oh, wait, what? Oh, they shuffled! Oh, they shuffled! Oh! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> we'll take it. How many creatures in my deck can Kiki copy? Well, there's only one that really matters. The Pestermite. But then Inferno Titan. One of two. One of the two goes infinite. The other one will probably immediately win the game because copying Inferno Titans also gas. I'm not going to sideboard anything in. I don't think I need those random burn spells, right? I can also copy a treachery target, right? A non-legendary treachery target. Oh, that's right. I do have a phantasmal image in the deck. This hand's pretty lackluster. They didn't really play that much small poop. Let's go for the turn four Inferno. Seems fine. It's quite the mana base. Oh. <laughs> 
Interesting. Still think it's better to Inferno Titan this turn, because we can still hard cast the Ilharg next turn. 19. 19. How can I get to 19? 19. Oh! <gasps> Wait, actually, it doesn't matter if they kill a Basalt anymore. I already used it. Oh, mama. We got some potential. Legacy Cube goes down on Wednesday. Is what I've heard. No touchy my pig. No touchy the pig. Uh oh, not touching the pig? My friend, I think you're going to come to regret not touching the pig. And no, this is not a euphemism. I could just put him to one. Seems like drawing a lot of cards seems better. A Waffle Unleashed. Thanks for that. 43 months. Already aching. Yup, yup, yup. All worth some bacon. Scoop! <sighs> Solid hand. Very solid hand. Scrubland Plains, okay. Both Is It Charm and Magma Jet do a good job of finding a third land for us. Thanks. Drawn two of our three mana rocks to go with this uh, upheaval feels good too. You're not wrong about that, but this is Legacy Cube. They haven't had Storm in Legacy Cube in a long time. Vintage Cube, sure. I think I'm gonna jet here. Oh, my remand! Or not my remand, my sneak attack. Land? Bro, please. I guess I don't need Basalt when I have these two. Gideon Blackblade. Okay. We seem to be whiffing on lands here. Was Storm ever in Legacy Cube? I don't actually remember. I think they might have tried it at one point, but that's actually really good. Upheaval on the uh, on the O-ringed board is kind of nice. Yeah, we're just gonna monolith pass. If they want to Gideon minus. They lose their Gideon in order to kill Grim Monolith, so I don't mind that. Lyra Dawnbringer, you got it. This upheaval is going to be spicy, you are not wrong. Waiting whether or not I want to Is It Charm right now, I think I will. Need to find another mountain, but should be good to go. Gotta make sure I play mountain here instead of island so that I can go mountain Inferno Titan next turn. No, no, no. See, upheaval affects both players, so it's fair. It's just obvious, right? Now they do have O-ring in their hand, but if I draw a mountain, we just win. Yeah. Mm. This is fair. This is fair. Easy. 
Easy clapping. Yeah, exactly. I'm paying for this effect. They actually get ahead on the exchange. <laughs> this is why you take upheaval, even if you don't want to take upheaval. <sighs> they also get to untap first! You're right! Uh, I think that's an easy keep. It's the worst that could happen. Okay, maybe maybe saying that they're first to untap is not fair. Not completely fair and accurate. Wow, I can make my own mom? <laughs> this mom can't protect herself, though. Sort of feast and famine. What the heck? Nah, stepmom is the uh, giver of runes. Wow, they didn't attack. I'm actually a little bit surprised there. Are you aching? Yup, yup, yup. Or some bacon. Brainstorm was a little bit appealing there too. This Ember Cool is not our ideal target, but oh well. OP missing land drops as well. You got me. Pitch through the breach and now they're gonna deal with my sneak attack and I'm gonna feel bad. I don't really wanna just 13 ball them. That doesn't seem good. F it. Get in there! Mother. Do I wanna eat mom? Oi, what is this? You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna eat mom. <laughs> this is just 13 damage I'm throwing away, but I don't wanna discard anything. We'll draw something better, I'm sure. God, why did I attack with mom? I'm so stupid. All right, you got it. <laughs> this is why you're never supposed to attack with mom. I don't even know why I made up. Like, what's the point of imaging a mother of ruins if I'm just going to attack with it? Seriously. Ah, well. I don't think we're going to lose, it's just it might take longer to win now. Uh-oh, okay. Maybe not. They found a black source. Just in time. Wait, into pass? <laughs> well, if you insist, just in time. Did you want permanence? Because this is how you have no permanence. Ah, perfection. I can't imagine if our opponent actually had uh, drawn their lands on time. Because we did nothing for quite a few turns. If I use the Ilharg trigger, then I don't get the uh, Annihilator trigger. Ilharg puts the creature onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. Not super spicy. Can I sneak attack Ilharg and then have it trigger another? Yes. 
That is something you can do. What the heck? Ben playing PUBG? Goblin Guide. All right, let's draw some mountains, I guess. Thanks. Thanks, bro! You done me a solid. Chain Lightning. Let's see, what's the sequence here? I guess I actually do want to do this, because if I draw an Ember Cool, I like basically win next turn. Wrong, Ember Cool. I should have been more specific. Hello, yes, it is me. Father. I imagine we're very, very much favored, but we'll see what they have. Wow, my friends are bad influence. PUBG, yeah, you in? Tell Chet you have to go work on house stuff. Jeez. Trying to get me to leave you guys. Okay, um, I think I have a convoluted route to victory, right? So Phantasmal Image, Untap Grim Monolith. No, that doesn't work. So we need double blue after the fact. So if I go like this, Phantasmal Image, Untap Grim Monolith. Three, four, five, one, two. Yes, so I go, I go Phantasmal Image, <laughs> this is weird, Pestermite, Untap Grim Monolith, Tap, Treachery, using everything but one of the red, Untap, make three red, Jiki Jiki. Got him. Yeah, as long as I don't target the the wrong Esther. All right, this does look like a matchup for maybe some Swelt. Probably take out the upheaval versus them. I still think it's good, but unnecessary. Let's bring in the Shiv and Fire. Honestly, I might take out Treachery as well and just bring in another. Way to uh, preserve. Oh, wait. Let's go fire nice over this. And Mystic. Over, say, Narset. Oh, no, this is 41! I added one too many cards! My ratios! This is okay. I'm on the draw. This is fine. This could be a turn four Inferno Titan, which I imagine is probably good enough. Hopefully they don't come out of the gates too quickly. Island? Uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> Selfless Spirit also wrecks my Sweltering Sun nonsense. All right, I mean, <sighs> Again, turn four Inferno Titan is probably got a thirteen. Draw me a land, please. Thanks. More creatures. The jit. It don't quit. If I wanted to get super greedy there, I'd play out the Power Stone. That Bomi is also big. 
Throwing a Shivan Fire. <laughs> they didn't equip, so maybe they have... Oh! <laughs> Alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Well, now I get to cut a card and get go back down to 40, which is nice. I guess the image is actually not very good here, yeah? Ah, uh, the dream is dead. Guess I have to draft again after this. Regardless of outcome. I should probably bring in Maze of Ith too, uh, if I was smart, but... Our deck is pretty streamlined. I kept a kind of a sketchy hand and... Didn't pan out. <laughs> okay, dude, you need to calm down. I ain't playing around. Hope you have Armageddon in your hand now. Bruh. We saw Cast Out in the first game. Kind of annoying, but when I draw Sneak Attack, it's gonna be great. Or Through the Breach. I really feel like I should hold up Is It Charm, but... Oh, can I not go for the win? <laughs> kind of poopy. Yo, Flulun! Oh my god, 73 months. Holy guacamole. Thank you, friend. Rampaging Ferocidon. All right. Do I go for the greed? I kind of want to is it charm and loot here. It's kind of greedy, but I'm gonna do it. Doo -doo. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> I really want to chart a course before magma jetting. Is that too greedy as well? <laughs> Uh, I feel like I'm going to get Armageddon next turn and just lose. I guess I'll hold the land in case they do Armageddon me. Why not remand for Armageddon because I didn't have untapped blue. We might just be dead here if they have the Geddon. Oh god, they, they sent me a message. I'm probably dead. Big fan! Armageddon! Oh, I guess not if they played Mutavolt. What did they do? They just firecraft my face? <gasps> They're at 15! Oh god! I am... Oh god! Through the breach or sneak attack! 15! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, I died to the trigger! No! You're right. Well, go out on my own terms if that's the case. God damn it, we didn't even get there anyways. This feels so bad. No! This deck was a lot better than our previous one, too. Well... Didn't 306 so, guess I have to draft again. <laughs>